Welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are going to be modding this pinball cabinet into a shelf unit to carry all my pinball tools. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. As you see, it's got nothing. I got the head, and all the, the head has is the light board. And um, I think it might even have a couple, yeah, it's got a couple bulbs in it. Um, I forgot what company this was. I think it might have been a Zachariah. But anyways, there's really nothing left of any value except for maybe this plate here. And the lockdown bar is good. So I will be taking those off. This last chrome piece. Um, I'll be knocking these sides off here, all these, and then we'll be putting some shelves in it. And I am going to take this off too for where the power switch goes because I have another machine that actually needs that because somebody hacked it off. And that'd be about it. I don't like the use of the wasted space here. But I might actually fill that up with, um, I have some lead <coughs> right here. I got five lead bars that I bought. Um, we had some digging done in our backyard for a shed. And I thought it was really funny to get some lead bars and um, spray paint them gold. And then put them out there so the wife could find them. Yeah, she didn't believe it. But anyway, so, um, yeah, let's get to taking this apart. It's going to be a long video. So I just might, you know, stop it every now and then. To get things out, 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 out of the way. Because I got to actually drill in the bottom to put wheels into it. beat but they don't need to be there so yeah probably gonna put a shelf across the bottom here just uh get that like I said I don't know maybe I'll, there's the pocket in the bottom here I know what I can do with that when I put the shelf on the top here I can put my extension cords in there it's like a perfect um spot to put cords in you know because otherwise it's got no use these sides got to come off so we will just pop them off they have no need to hang on there These are also glued down.
I don't know, do you want me to watch me do all this? We'll just come back when I got this part done. All right, I got all the sides knocked out and vacuumed out and everything. I decided to leave the little switch block thing in there because I figured um, with me taking off the sides that it would um, just destroy it anyway. So I just need to get this tipped upside down now because I got wheels for it. I don't want this just st stuck in one spot. I want to be able to have all my pinball tools around where if I'm not working on a machine and I got like company over or something, I can just move the cabinet. Ah, more junk. So that was my intention. So now we got wheels we're gonna put on the bottom. And then what I like about this too, it's 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 wedge shaped. So all the heaviest stuff will be on the bottom and the lighter stuff will be on top. So that will give it that center of gravity where it won't tip over. I got my wheels here. These I got from Harbor Freight. And they all turn. Yeah, they all turn. I can't remember if I bought two that turn and two that don't turn. It's been a long time. So these, I'm gonna put on the very, very far corners, like that. For a center of gravity thing, I did buy nuts and bolts and everything. Put them on. But, you know what, I think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go do this. Let me pause this, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. I'm going with drywall screws and washers. Let me see if I got these washers already opened. I got all my pinball hardware and stuff. These are quarter inches. So I probably do have some. And these will work perfect. These are number eights. Pinball parts. You buy pinball parts, you might get them in a bag. Save the bags. Especially if they're little Ziploc ones. And then you can just label it number 10 and keep all your stuff separate. This will work perfect. Me, I was just going to drill holes into here and nut and bolt it. I'm thinking, no. poking out, but that's perfect for me. So we can probably speed this up. Actually, we're going to have a dead battery. So instead of me pausing it, I'm just going to turn it off, put a brand new battery in it, and then once I get these screwed down, we'll get looking at it. All right, and we're back. That battery I had was um, one of the ones I marked that would die instantly. And when I looked at it, I seen the mark on it. I'm like, okay, no wonder why, because that was a freshly charged battery. And it died that quick. Man, I wish all these machines were this light. Jump out of there. Look at that. 
Look at that. I love that. Put all my parts in there and stuff. Man, is that awesome. Now I have the head on it. I don't think the head with my weird ceiling here is not going to work. Right here it will because it's real high, but here it's going to smack. What I was going to do, I was going to put the head on top and have the head as a, um, like I could put my, hang my flashlights and hammers and stuff like that. But, you know what I think might be cool too? If I take the head, and I screw the head to the back. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave the head off. And what I'll do to the head is I'll just, you know what I'll do? I'll, I have, um, I can put a back glass in there and I can light it up. I can do that. Or I can just hang it on a wall and make, um, shelves out of it. Which would still be kind of cool too. So now, I got all this plywood. I'm going to have to cut up a series of shelves. Because this one is one of my heaviest. It's got all my hardware on it. That will go on this shelf. And then above it, I have a box of coils. And that will go on the next shelf. And that will really stabilize this. And then I bought all these. Put all my other junk in. Um, this is just a small storage case, Harbor Freight. If you want one, I'll, I'll put the link in the description where you can go to Harbor Freight and see exactly what I bought. And then when you go to Harbor Freight, you can go buy one. And then I have four of these. One of these I already have coils in. And these are really nice. These are Overall dimensions, 16 and a half by four and a half by 13. So, like I said, I, I have three brand new ones and then um, my fourth one already has coils on it. So, uh, let's get those over there out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is very boring stuff. I don't know how long it's going to take me. And I don't want to keep you just sitting there going... <sighs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the next step. I'm going to get in here and measure this out. And put my sides on it so I can get my shelves on. So why don't we do that and then we'll come back when I get um, three shelves in. That way you can see how I got it laid out. I think this is going to be a cool project. You can stick all your extension cords in the bottom there. All your extension cords and power strips and whatever else can go inside here. Because this is a useless space and I do not want to tear this apart because this part actually adds strength and integrity to the cabinet and it still has the sides too which is kind of neat but yeah this this does add strength to it so yeah um, I'll just cover that up and we'll use that for extension cord and um, power outlet storage I think that'll be the best so um I'm gonna move this camera because it's gonna be in my way of running back and forth. So I'm gonna get to getting that first shelf in so we can put the big tackle box in it. And then um, 
a shelf for my coils and then one more shelf on top of that just so you can see how they're gonna stack all right I'm back I'll show you where I got right now I got the first shelf done as you can see and then I got my second one what I did was I actually took this on my table saw and I measured out from the whatever measuring thing I am NOT a woodworker so and then I I gave it just a little bit more length and I cut these little blanks so I know exactly how to space it and what I'm doing is I'm taking these putting them against the side and then putting my support for the shelf and I'm going underneath it and marking it with a pencil and that leaves me that pencil mark there and I just take that and level it up against that pencil mark and screw it in so I'll do one on this side hopefully you can see me I actually made four of these and I realized I only needed two Once I'm done screwing it down, I'll show you. Can you see me? Yeah. Let me get this other side. I flip that around. That's got the uh, staple on the end of it from Menards, the part number for the wood. Get you in tight there. So you can see what I did. This hunk of wood right here is actually the height for the next shelf. And then I, I marked it underneath there with the pencil. It's so on my shelf. And just fit right in there perfectly. Pretty cool, huh? Then I'm just taking one screw. I know, um, like I said, I'm not a woodworker, so some of you guys be like, man, you did that all wrong. I might have. But like I said, I am not a woodworker. But I can repair some pinball machines. another shelf to go so I'll show you what I just did take my wood my wood yeah let's do it on this side so you can see can you see yeah hope I'm not gonna block you see so yeah, put those there this will go just right on top And then I'll take my pencil and I'm going to go underneath the support right here and draw a line. See the line right here? And that way I know this right here goes on top of that line for the next shelf. So let me get that done over here quick. I did with these little jig things, I knew this way I wouldn't have to keep measuring all my shelves and it helps if my pencil sharp too. I have screws in here already. So 
that helps me out a lot. Now this isn't an exact science what I'm doing here. This is just how in my head, how I figured out how to do it. And it's working for me. It may work differently for you. But I'm just giving you a good idea of what to do. Another two screws. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the top yet. Um, I have a little tool caddy that I made that holds all my screwdrivers and stuff on my other cart that I'm going to retire. Um, so I just might rig that up because what I did is I took a little piece of wood and I took all different size PVC pipes and I drilled little holes right in the bottom of the pipe so I can um, anchor it to the hunk, hunk of wood. And I think I'm just going to take that and make some type of shelf here so I can push it up through the bottom. I don't know if I can really get it off to show you. Yeah, I can. This is what I made for my tool cart. They're all little different size PVCs. And what I did was I drilled a hole in the bottom of the PVC and then zip tied it. And they're all like zip tied together. And then I glued them together with PVC glue. So hopefully, oh yeah. They are. I'll make a shelf or just put two by fours and attach it back right up on the there. I think that's what I'll do. This one right here is the only one with the glass jars that I didn't screw down. Because that was an afterthought. So yeah, I think I'll just... I have some more scrap wood. I'll just screw a piece here, screw a piece here, and screw a piece here and a little piece here and I can just actually set it down and I can actually take it off which would be kind of cool but um yeah I think this was a neat project it's actually didn't cost me a penny except for the wheels well 50 bucks for the um what do you call it 50 bucks for the cabinet and then, um, what was it? I think the wheels were eight or twelve dollars, and everything else is just scraps I had laying around the house, which was cool. So I have to make one more shelf yet. But as you can see. This is going to be a really cool thing that I can now roll around wherever I want to. So, let me get my bearings straight. I'm, I'm exhausted right now because i just been working non-stop on this. Then I had a bunch of junk fall over and I picked it up and I'm just sweating and need something to drink so 
let me get my bearings set straight on this and then we'll get back to it and we'll see what else I'm going to do with the last. I have to put one more shelf in. I ran out of wood for that so I got to go back outside. One more, two more shelves I gotta make, yeah. And I just cleaned up my mess. And now I gotta make another mess. So, man, I underestimated what I needed. Hmm. So, I do got one more shelf. So wait a minute, no? Okay. I have one more cap, um, one more of these that's got my coils in that's over there, so that will go like that. And then this one, I can, I'll just stack all my um, little bins on top. So yeah, I don't need nothing, I just need a couple pieces to scab in there, which will probably be these. I'll just screw these up underneath there. There's a screw there. I'll have to get that out. I'll just screw these up underneath there and then I'll put that top on. So let me get my stuff together and then we'll be right back. Yeah, I like it. You're still here? You should go home. I'm done with that. I'm totally done with that. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, the reason why I'm done... Ran out of inch and a quarter drywall screws. But that's it. I hope I'm... This gives some type of inspiration on building your own if you have a leftover cabinet from something. Like I said, I originally bought this. I was going to take all my son's video game consoles and put them in it. I thought it would be a cool thing. But then I decided, well, it was kind of beat up. I'd have to repaint it and that would kind of take away the whole vintage flare look. And anyways, what's better than working on pinball machines by using a pinball machine toolbox? That is the ultimate pinball machine repair kit right there. So yeah, I gotta, I still gotta move some of my junk around, fill up the extra bins, but I think that's about it. I need everything. I need a. Maybe I'll put one more shelf here. Because this can go like that. But the problem is, like I said, I ran out of screws. And I just totally cleaned up my work area. So. I think I'm done. I'll probably do a little couple touch ups here and there. Like I want to get one more shelf here. Because I got my. Um, my Q tips. Uh, my flashlights, my cordless screwdriver, and stuff like that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no way! No way! No way! That just popped in my head. This was built to be a tool cart. I can put my flashlight, my cordless screwdriver. Well, it don't go that way, but it will sit that way perfectly. So anyways, oh, this is bright. If you enjoy what I do, please like, subscribe, subscribe. That's about it. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Mark's Basement Arcade if you think this is cool. So, um, that's about it. Look down in the description um, if you'd like to support my um, YouTube and making weird, cool stuff like this and 
all the videos I do. Um, if you shop Amazon, just click on the Amazon link. It will take you right to Amazon. All your purchases um, will, will be normal purchases. It's just I get a small commission for referring you to Amazon. Um, instead of Amazon getting 100% profit off of it, they're going to get like 99.9% .9 profit off you. And I'll get that 0 0.01. So, it, it, so a couple pennies here and there, they do help. So, um, anyways, um, I, and like I, I don't know what you buy, and I don't, don't care what you buy off of Amazon. So that's your business. All I know is there's purchases made, and it says you earn 15 cents. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Um, please like. And if you think this is really cool, share it with your friends. So... I got stuff to do. I got stuff to move around. I can't keep talking to you guys all day. So, later.